All right, guys, welcome back. And now we're going to attempt to solve the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0 using the quadratic formula method. Now, remember, the quadratic formula, in this case, x is the unknown. So the formula begins with x. So the quadratic formula is x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. That's the quadratic formula. So before we actually begin to use it, we have to ask ourselves, is the quadratic equation 2x squared minus 5x minus 3 equals 0 in the form ax squared plus bx plus c uh, equals 0 and it is so based on that fact again we know that a the value of a is positive 2 the value of b is negative 5 and the value of c is negative 3 and all we're going to do now is plug these values carefully into the quadratic formula to find the values of x. So we're going to do that now. So I'm going to put that to the side. And we're going to get straight into that as well. So remember what the quadratic formula is. And what we're going to do now is to plug in these values inside here and just work it out. So. The value of x is equal to the negative of b, and this b is negative 5. Now remember, the negative belongs to the formula, and the value of b is negative 5, so it will be the negative of negative 5. Be very careful where that is concerned. Plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 5 all squared. Now, without the bracket there, it's an incorrect step. Because negative 5 squared without the bracket means something totally different, different from negative 5 all squared. So again, you have to put these things in bracket. Uh, minus 4, the value of A is 2, and the value of C is negative 3. You have to be very careful. Uh, divided by 2 times A, which is 2 times 2. So we're going to take our time and work this very carefully. So X is equal to... Uh, two negatives like this makes positive 5 plus or minus the square root of minus 5 all squared is 25. And again, be very careful with here. So again, just cover this and say negative 4 times positive 2 is negative 8. And then negative 8 times negative 3 is positive 24. So I'm multiplying a negative number by a positive by a negative. So I should get negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. And negative 8 times negative 3 is positive uh, 24. All over 2 times 2 is 4. So you take your time and you work and avoid making errors inside here. Because this is normally where you make the errors. So if you find that you work the quadratic formula. Or using a quadratic formula method to solve a a quadratic equation and you're not getting the answer that you're supposed to get that you got with factorization for example check here because normally here is where you're making a mistake or sometimes uh, instead of having two negatives you have one negative and not what you what you're supposed to have remember the first negative belongs to the formula and the value of b is negative five so we have two negatives here so be careful with this part and be careful with inside here so continuing x is going to be equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 49 and again the square root of 49 is going to give us a nice whole number which is 7 and normally this uh, helps us to know if this could have been solved using factorization method so key note this part here will tell you whether the quadratic equation could have been solved using factorization method. If you get a nice number here when square root it gives you a nice whole number, then it could have been solved using factorization method. But if you got a number that when you square root you got decimals, then you could not use factorization method to solve the equation. So let's proceed. 
So all over 4. And x is going to be equal to 5 plus or minus the square root of 9 is 7 over 4. And I'm just going to push this over here to continue solving this problem. So what we're going to have is a situation now where we're going to break off to get our two answers. And that is the whole uh, essence of this. So we're breaking off now to get our two answers. So when, in one instance, we're going to use a positive. So when x equals 5 plus 7 over 4, and when x equals 5 minus 7 all over 4. So in this case, 5 and 7 is 12. And of course, 12 divided by 4 is positive 3. And that's what we got uh, when we solve using the factorization method over here. 5 minus 7 is negative 2. Negative 2 over 4 broken down gives us negative. Aha. Which is what we got with the factorization method. So again, here is the quadratic formula. And we're using the quadratic formula to solve this quadratic equation. And the beautiful thing about the quadratic formula is that it works every single time on all quadratic equations. Right, factorization method only works whenever you work out this part and you get a whole get a number that when you square root you get a nice uh, whole number without any decimal points. Once you get decimal points here, you know that you couldn't have used factorization method. So why do we have x here? Because x is what is in the quadratic equation. If it was a different letter, then that would come here. The key again is to correctly identify the values of a, b, and c before you attempt to plug it in there. The substitution must be in bracket here. This original negative belongs to the formula. This one is b, in this particular case, b was negative five. Be careful of that. Of course, this is what gives us the two answers. And be careful of this end as well. You're multiplying three numbers, be careful of the signs. And then once you proceed, you're gonna end up with the two answers. So I hope you guys found this video insightful and I'll see you guys on the next video.